want to fuck you. I want to throw you across this table and fuck you right now. Do you know what you're looking at? You don't realise, do you? You're looking at the greatest fuck in the world. For years I've travelled around the world, soaking up experiences, trying every combination of man and beast. Turning myself into a fully comprehensive, living encyclopedia of fuck. No fetish or perversion has been left untried in my quest for the ultimate fuck. And do you know what? It all comes down to one thing. I must become an astronaut. I'll have intense, wild sex in zero gravity. And then at the moment of my magnificent climax, I'll blow the hatches, exploding my love seed into the universe. Fantastic. Are you really, really sure you don't want to? I can't. Ross is calling later and if I'm not home... Besides, I've got work in the morning. Unlike some people I could mention. Has he still got his lads night on Wednesday? Yeah. Come round about nine? Mm. OK. I've really got to go. So I said to her, did you see the invaders, you know, that 60s sci-fi show? She said, no. I'm thinking, well, what's the fucking point? But I said to her, it was repeated on Death 2 about 91. And she just stares at me. I said, well, it had a really strong impression on my father as a kid. So she says to me, well, didn't your mother get so? I mean, can you believe that? Oh, did I tell you what happened the other day? I got a letter addressed to Quim. Quim! I mean... Do they still have hearing tests in school these days? Because hearing standards are going downhill in this country. You all right, Vince? Claire finished me today. Come on, forget about it. There's two kinds of people in this world. Those who do things by letter, and those who do it face to face. Come on. Just forget about it. She's a chicken shit bitch. Come on. Come back to mine. We'll have these beers. We'll stick on some Bowie. We'll have a good time, yeah? Forget about it. He said I didn't love her enough. people get caught in explosions, they die instantly, or do they burn forever? Imagine you're sitting in bed, and you find a bomb under your pillow, about to go off. How do you think you feel? Who's going to put a bomb in your bed? It's hypothetical, Ash. Hyper... Where do you get these ideas? I just wish... Sounds great to me. A great job. A great future. Well, I wouldn't say that. Well, come on, Alex. Have you not looked at the sky recently and just thought, anything's possible? Surely you've noticed the weather recently. Oh, it's been getting greater and greater. 
and our things are just getting greater. That's it. That's exactly it. What is that you're drinking there? Um, gin tea. Gin and tonic. Great drink. Refreshing, isn't it? Mm. And I'm drinking Coca Cola. So I see. Alex, do you mind if I ask you something? Go ahead. Might sound a bit silly, but um, is there any reason why your mum and your dad gave you a man's name? It's, it's short for Alexandra. Well, Alexandra, of course. Well, so your real name's Alexandra. You've got a great job, and you've got a great future, and you're drinking gin and tonic. Great. <laughs> Make us a cup of tea? No. Oh, go on. No. Please. I made the last two, you make one. Can't. Why not? I've got a bad leg. You are full of shit. I am. It hurts when I go up and down the stairs. Besides, you make a much better brew than I do. Shit. Guy in the baggy jumper. Hi, who's that? Robert. I got off with him ages ago. Drunk. Ever since though, he's been hassling me to see him again. I just can't get through to him though. I'll put the kettle on. Get back, cool. Hello, is uh, Alex working today? Yeah. Is she on a break? She's down there. Hello, Alex. Alright. What are you doing down there? I didn't think you, mate. Tea, Martin. Tea. Yeah, it's okay, Mr. Hare, it's fine. Um, is it something that you're planning to do in the near future? Yeah. Okay. Okay, thanks very much for that. See you, Mr. Hal. Bye. Alright, sir. So. Alright, Quinn. What's that? Well, that's water. Is it? Well, what are the red bits? Red bits. Right. Is it true that um, you know certain people? Uh huh. And that uh, certain people know you? Uh huh. And these certain people can acquire um, certain things? Uh huh. Step into my office. So, what are you after? Well, it's not for me really, it's for my mate. I mean, he's just split with his girlfriend. I thought I'd give him a video, get a few beers, show him some action, and put a smile on his face. Oh, the video are we after? Yeah, but it's not for me. They've been going out for nearly a year, and now he's just. Okay, you know, okay. When do you need it for? Tonight, really. Short notice. I know, but I'd have told you earlier, but they've just split up. What's your extension number? 32. Right, I'll make some calls and I'll give you a call later. Thanks then, mate. Cheers.
Hi. Hi. What have you been doing today? Anything? I've been reading. Uh huh. Can't be many of your sister's books left now. What is it? Four? Five? Three? Seven? Three, Ash. Three books left. College on today? Yes, I'm not going there. But still going to rehearsals? Of course. But still no gig on the horizon? You know how... Christ. You know what I'll do? When we shake hands with the venue owner, I'll get him to phone you, just so you're the first to know. Will that make you happy? I just want to hear you play, Cat. You know how I feel about that, too. If I read this, will you play just for me? Give it back, Ash. Hey? Give it back! Yeah, Jesus. So, are you doing anything Saturday? Duncan's invited us to a party if you fancy going. No, I'm not interested. When was the last time we went out? Yeah, yeah, you can look it up in your diary, but all you do is stay in that room of yours with your diary and your guitar and your notebooks. And it isn't good for you, Kat, it isn't. You used to look healthy, have a really nice, handsome life in you. Okay, you could always go out with Jill and Lisa instead of me. I don't want to go out with Jill and Lisa. They're your friends. I don't want to. Why not? Stop mothering me, Ash. They're not good enough for you, not read enough books. I've nothing in common with them. I sometimes wonder what... I've got to be getting back. Of course, a dinner hour. What's that supposed to mean? I'll see you Friday. Claire! Claire, we should definitely... We should talk. Why don't... We should... 20 Benson, please, mate. Claire? Are you the connoisseur? Marcus? Who are you? I, I'm a friend of Simon's. He said he was going to call you. Simon? Uh, Simon Tufnell. He did call, didn't he? Marcus? Your name is really Quim, right? Your name is really Quim. Quim with an N. Sound like Quim on the phone, so I'll be in. Why don't you turn the music down? Turn the music down. Fucking rave. Big fucking rave, you see. Why are you saying? Maybe it's fucking eight more than I do. I'm trying to get a move out so I can move in. Number 69, mate. You see? So what are you after then? Well it's not for me, it's for my friend. He's feeling a bit down so I thought, you know, bring him a video, get some beers in. They dumped him then. Yeah, something like that. So what's he into then? Animals? Horsing around and all that? Caught this great bit of urban different like action in. My bogging, you see. CD1, fresh in. 10,000 pictures, 150 movies. There's this one. Of this bloke, this woman, and this station. That's a video, just a normal video. I'm trying to cheer him up, not making me scar it. Right. Go in here. Nurses or schoolgirls? Sorry? Which does he prefer? Two types of people. Uh, nurses. Right. Okay. Just a minute. Right. Right. What are you then? Sorry? Uh, which do you prefer? Uh, <laughs> schoolgirls. Yeah. You love that one, then. Here you go. Tired title. What's the good in you say? 
They make sense of me as a joke. Wank. Came through the door, saw you're a bit of all right, folk. I'll have some of that. If you'd have been a bit of a dog, it'd have been, you know, see ya. Your last bloke dunky then, or what? I haven't been in a relationship for, for a while. Ah, uh, you need some sound proper bloke like me. I'll take care of you. Tell you something else. All my exes. I had them all in tears when I told them to do one. They were nuts about me. Crazy. Still are. I mean, they come round my gaff all hours of the night, begging for me to take them back. Seems to me, once I've had a taste of the big fella, I know what I mean. Uh -huh. So, uh, what do you do then? I work in a record shop. Record shop? Mega? Top? Beatles? You've got to love them. Um, I prefer the Velvet. Who? The Velvet Underground. Nah, fuck that. Revolver, best album ever. Everyone say so. So, um, what do you do? I do nothing. I do fuck all. So you got it sussed, good and proper. I just chill out. So you don't do anything? Well, do bits here, do bits there. All I right, do it for me. Number one. You know what I don't understand? You're a bird. Tasty. But you've got a bloke's name. I mean, what's that all about? What do you two monkeys want? Look, Vince, whatever Italian rubbish it is you're after this week, we haven't got it. And the one with the nail gun in the eye is banned in 27 countries, all right? Well, actually, we're uh, sorted for tonight's entertainment. I'm uh, just wondering what you're doing tomorrow. Why, uh, no. Don't tell me, you're off to the arsehole. No. When Wednesday night, you always go to the hole. No, we're going to type tip. No, you always plan to go somewhere else, then chicken out and wind up at the hole. Honestly, Vince has heard some good stuff about it. What sort of music is it? I don't know, housey dancer stuff? House. What is house? A plot designed to keep the working classes sedated in the belief that they're having a good time. Doped up and out of their heads on repetitive melodies and a mindless bass. New records are slight variations on the old, breeding a safe familiarity with the material. Tunes and lyrics are carefully crafted to lower intellectual stimulation, kept to a childish simplicity. No effort is ever made to challenge the audience. They're never pushed to remember anything beyond the ever-repeating four-word terrace chant chorus. There's no opportunity to bring in any political message. God forbid the idea of introducing sensitivity. These things require thought. Thought is the most dangerous word in the world of house. It could lead to the fabled day of reckoning. A day that people whisper of in hopeful tones. The day when the masses finally awake, prick up their ears and shout out, We're not going to take it anymore! The day of the music revolution! There's two kinds of people in this world. Those who give a simple, fuss-free, no bullshit answer to a question. And then there's Craig. Let's go. Nurses out of uniform. A truly revealing look at nurses' lives beyond the hospital doors. Documentary. Documentary structure. Strictly hardcore pornographic content. The model pictured on the sleeve of this video may not have been involved with the production of this movie. Come on, do they ever? Right.
Today's nurses. Some say overworked, some say underpaid. But what of the life of a nurse out of uniform? How do they unwind after a long, stressful day of helping the sick and needy? Where do they go to forget about the pressure and strain of working in a typical hospital? Our first case in this investigation is Nicola. Here we go. Do you hear that? I don't think I've ever known total silence. This is the city, our city, Ethan. You can't see him from up here, can you? People with their little lives of frustration. The woman who 30 years ago gave up her dream and ever since she's lived with regret. That lad's hanging down by the bus shelter. He'll go window shopping later on, go anywhere, do anything, just because it's better than being at home. Look, down there, by the traffic lights, there's that couple. You've seen them around. Been for a drink, now she's crying. He's speaking too coldly, too calculated. And over on the horizon, in that block of flats, there's an old man sat up watching the goggle box with the volume turned too loud, watching a programming schedule he doesn't understand. All he's got is a long, lonely wait for it to end. Our city. A city where you have to go halfway up a fucking high-rise to make it look beautiful. A city that gave birth to me. Raised me and will bury me. This is our city. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Leave it. Not one of Mr. Rothschild's greatest performances, but on a scale of one to 10, I'd give it eight. Still don't get it. What? You? All that. Most people don't. You got all that money sat there. Do anything, go anywhere, you don't have to put up with all this bullshit. Got one string. What? It's important to me. Helen. Ethan, how can you be tied down by someone who's already tied down by someone else? I love a trade. It's as simple as that. Make your wish. What's the point of keep making it? It never happens. This has gotta be a wind up or something. Try it now. What here? I haven't, well, it's not really much of a life actually. Well, the time you finished your night shift, and then you've got to get up the next morning to do your early day shift. And as, as well as having a relationship, well, there's just nothing there actually. You don't get time for a relationship. This is unbelievable. Looks like we're all out of booze. So I see. No point hanging around here then. Cheers, like you're not here for the company. Come on, let's go. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. How long's it been now? Keep going, keep going, keep going. How long's 1360? Leave it, it's finished. Christ. I'll have a word with Sai about this. It's okay. It must have been that fucking bloke. He had his gabber on so loud, he couldn't have heard me right. No, it doesn't matter. I'll have a word with Craig, see if he can sort something out for late in the week. Nice, mate. It's okay. I'm gonna try and cheer you up. See, some people would say, I did warn you, don't come crying to me. And I did warn you, but I won't say that. I can't, you're my friend. No, no, look, kick me when I'm down, why don't you? Oh, it's not even stupid. It just seemed a funny thing for you to do. Well, I thought it'd be different. I thought it'd be more on common interests and pure physical attraction. And where did the common interests come in? By the sound of it, you still ended up getting judged on a physical level by people with all the charisma and IQ of a hookah. 
Leave it, OK? I made a mistake. Just leave it. You're the one moaning about it. I'm... The icing on the rotten cake is Robert's resurfaced after a two-week hiatus. Just when I thought I was finally free of him. Give him an inch. Tell me about that. Ooh. Ethan, can you do me a favour? Can you tell me, in 15 words or less, why I can't find a decent man? You don't need a man. You've got a washing machine on spin cycle. Satisfy your every need. Yeah, but uh, like everything else, it finishes just as you're starting to enjoy it. And leaves a damp mess to clear up afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> How are things with you and Helen? They're all right. And uh, still no moral panics? No. Well, we are doing well. What would the Reverend Taylor say if he could see you now? I never did much care for that bald Reverend or his good book. No, I know you didn't. Besides, something this good. Can't be wrong. Not in my book. Ooh. What? You! I hate talking to you about your love life. It's so depressing. Can't you say, God, she did this, she said that, she's such a fucking bitch? Do really love her, don't you? Yeah, don't take the piss. I'm not. It's just, I know it's not going to work. Well, I know it's not forever, Alex. Come on, there's a party Saturday night. Bound to be a plentiful harvest, I mean. Every one of them are tossing. <clears throat> Come on, shift your drawers, let's go. Vince. Claire. I want my stuff back. Okay, okay. I'm coming round tonight at six o'clock with my dad and I want everything ready. Claire. I really want... I don't want to talk about it. I want everything. Plus that money you owe me. Well, I, I'm going to need some time. That's not my problem. I want my money, my stuff, at your house at six o'clock. Claire, couldn't we just... Excuse me, Duck. Where's your beans? Sorry? Your beans. Six o'clock, then, sharp. Claire, can you just wait one minute? Chap up at counter says you'll show me where they are. I'll see you later, Vince. Claire! What was it you wanted? Beans. Right, this way. You're too picky, you know. That's your trouble. No, not all the time. Oh, yeah, Robert. Oh, cheers for judging that up. Sorry. OK, so I can get someone I really want to. I know you can. I think it's time I face facts, though, and, and finally lay down this torch I've been holding for you. It's a fine decision. Are you not being a bit hasty, are you? You coming in? No, I've, uh... Not got time for a cup of tea? No, I've really got to shoot. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I'll meet you tomorrow for dinner. Oh, we're doing lunch. Yeah, my treat. Oh, Christ. M&S sandwiches again? Hey, triple pack. I'm no cheapskate. You know what you should do? Form your band. Do your Velvets thing. Play a few gigs. Get all the groupies after you. Hello, McFly. Aren't I the one that's just been complaining to you about shallow physical attraction? Yeah, but this will be different. One half based on the physical, the other half on magical musical ability. Really impresses him. I don't think so, Ethan. We should be getting some. See you tomorrow. What gets me is that she couldn't come round or call me. Instead, she has to come to the place where I work and cause a scene. Fucking bitch! I'm surprised you didn't want the shirt off my back as a down payment. Forget about it. There's two kinds of people in this world. Those who are destroyed by bad experiences and those who are made stronger. Three kinds. Those who are made more bitter. Snap out of it. We're going to go out tonight. We're going to get lathered and give our sorrows a damn good drowning. A burial at sea. Yeah, that's the spirit. Come on, this is the first time in ages it's been me and you in the pool. We're going to go to Tactic, it's going to be rammed full of beautiful honeys. We're going to be on top most four and score 10 out of 10 in all counts. It's going to be a good night tonight. I can feel it. So what's the time limit on this physical challenge? There isn't one. He's not coming back. He's staying up? Uh-huh. An all-night challenge? The threat of an automatic locking. A guaranteed automatic locking.
What a load of shock they were. Tonight we will entertain with five monkeys on stage. Half these stone cast la la heretics from the inspiral Northside Oasis farm. Or yet, another part of my blank skank in the bollocks. Shite. Any band that has to clap for its own encore can't have good prospects. The thing, the problem is, is what they listen to. The Beatles, Oasis, Charlottes, I bet they've never heard of Rod in the Faces. All Sabbath, all is. Or Goblin. Or Goblin, exactly. Not know all the songs, but they only have two or three words in. Come on, yeah. Keep it right. Hear me now. Big love. Bag of us. Any band that has to clap for its own encore can't have good prospects. Right? Say, any band that has to clap for it. Jesus. I know. 14, 15 tops. You reckon? Yeah, it's pathetic, isn't it? They're really letting anyone in here these days. Who's got the rockets? Who's the guy in yellow? Who's the fucking cunt in yellow? Who's got the fucking rocket? Sod your rockets. Who's the fucking yellow guy? It's you, you idiot. Is it? Don't play it. You're not happy with it, are you? should get fucking red. Bastard on job! Right, let's get the bastards. Just look! Oh, fuck! Look elsewhere, Ash. I mean, oh, fucking stay still, will you? You've always got something to come back to in the meantime, haven't you? It's like house hunting, in it. Stay fucking still! Fuck the miserable bitch off, Ash. You know, you're always coming around here to get rid of her, and then all you do is moan about her. I'll keep my mouth shut in future. All due respect and all, but how long does it take her to get over her sister? She was a stuck-up cow. RCP 90, anyone? I can't finish her. It'd kill her. Nah. She'd kill herself. That's unless you kill yourself first, Ash. Come on, look, just go out, just for one night, get somebody else, have a good time, yeah? Good night, Mr. Jackson, I think. Okay, I'm just trying, yeah? See what you're missing. Hey. Good evening, lads. Hey. Big dirty bastards! Hey. hey! Come on, sit down. It's you, Katrina. Are you getting a book? Yes. Are you going to be long, love? No. Would you like a hand? No, it's OK. I've got it now. Katrina, you know how I feel about you going in there. Yes. Well, I just wish you'd... Two more times. I've got to go in there two more times and everything will be alright. And I'll be able to smile like everyone else and I'll be able to forget like everyone else. Okay. Hi, Vince. All right, Reese. How's it going? Pretty shit. What? Pretty shit. So who are you here with tonight? Quinn. You haven't seen him, have you? No. No. Why? Does it matter? Your mate Blake's on, yeah? Yeah. A uh, mate of mine said he saw him around town the other day. That's strange. Why? The last I heard was in India. Right, so how are things with uh, you, and, you and Claire? 
They're not. She finished me on Monday. By letter. Shit. So it's all over between you and her then? Looks that way. See, well, I heard something. I mean, well, the thing is, she's over there, and I, I think she's coming on to me. And I just wanted to make sure that everything was fully over between you and her. Because the last thing I wanted to do is hurt your feelings, I mean, you're a mate. And So is that alright then? What a fucking bitch. Two days, two fucking days after what we shared and the stuff we went through. Straight out the window and in with a new bloke. Fucking cow! Did you see it like? She looked fucking gorgeous. And she stood there all by herself and I didn't do anything. Top it all, I can't believe the cheek of Reese. Nice Reese, sweet Reese, he wouldn't hurt anyone. He's a fucking Cunt, a backstabbing Judas cunt. Why didn't I talk to him, Vince? Why? Let's go. No? No, I don't give a fuck. Yeah? Yeah, same to you. Shove your fucking job up your brown eye. Or Isn't he still in Peru? Melbourne? It's nice for him to get in touch with us, though. It, it's not very fair on Craig, is it? No. Hey, check this out. Uh, Claire dropped it into the shop for me. Oh, Christ, more Warhol ass. Yeah, genius. Oh, just because he's connected with the velvets? No, that's not it at all. Oh, so in your mind, genius consists of screen prints of celebrities and tins of soup? It's all for some people, yeah. Well, seeing as we're busy trashing 20th century artists, may I be so bold as to bring up Oh, no. I mean, where do I start? The fact that he is so overrated. Don't you dare. So crushingly mediocre. Don't you dare bring Opera into this. And his paintings, they're so dull. Alex. Full of dull people living their dull lives. I'm warning in you. their dull houses, in their dull landscapes, in his dull paintings. Alex. <laughs> Alex, <laughs> I'm you all right? Yeah, not bad. How's things? Oh, not bad, not bad. Do you know Ross? No, uh, we haven't met. Ross, Ethan, Ethan Ross. Ethan's a friend of Monica's at college. OK. How's it going? Uh -huh. Oh, uh, <clears throat> Alex, this is uh, Helen Ross. Ross Helen. Alex. So, uh, 
How are things going at college then? Oh, it's all right. It's a lot of hard work, but it'll be all right in the end, won't it? My day off today, though. Ross is on his dinner hour, so I'm nursing him. Had a bit of a rough night, didn't we, baby? Right, well, we'd best be off. OK. All right, see you around? Yeah, take it easy. Okay. You too. Bye. So, uh, not one of the Ambassador's greatest introductions. Don't start, Alex. Ethan, if it's any consolation, you're right. He does look like an arsehole. I think I should stop chasing after this redhead and stop going for blondes. I think we should go for one or the other. Do you need kids? Mind if I join you? Alright. You alright? Yeah. Oh, Hi, Stella. Mind if we join you? <laughs> so, uh, how are you all tonight? Um, Where's your other half, Ethan? Alex? I don't know. Not acceptable. <laughs> Wouldn't have thought the way you two carry on. Hmm. Isn't it true she's been to a dating agency? Total disaster from what I heard. She's just had a bad time, that's all. What was it? A gay come up in a knob? <laughs> Sarah, that's no way to talk about present company. No, Alex is dying. <laughs> oh yeah, I quite like the sound of the last one. Alex, that girl has no luck. Oh, hey, what about that Tim guy? Oh, come on, leave it out. <laughs> <laughs> Are you telling me you've never heard this before? She brings it up all the time. What's the story? It's the same one. Tell me the story. Okay, okay, okay. Alex has fancied this guy for ages, right? But nothing ever happened. He's been dating this girl for about a year or so, but they've been going through a bit of a rough patch. So Alex fancies her chances and invites him around for dinner. So now she is absolutely determined to get a shag from this guy. So to help him into the mood, she threw every aphrodisiac into the meal. And I mean every. But if the meal didn't get her laid, then the three bottles of red wine thought she what should. She made the poor lad eat every last mouthful until he was fit to burst. Then the fan flames of passion with the wine. Mind you, it's a miracle that flames weren't put out with all three bottles. Anyway, eventually it's all gone and Alex decides it's time to venture to the bedroom. Tim, bless him, is incapable of using his legs by this stage. In fact, in some circles, it's still even debated today whether Tim was conscious or not. Making us sound like a Neanderthal. Knocked out by club or wine, it's all the same in my book, Ethan. So we're in the bedroom. No need to undress all of him, just the important bit. So she's there, gyrating on top of Tim, slowly at first, and then beginning to pick up speed and faster and faster and she can feel it coming oh yeah baby she can feel it coming it's coming it's coming <laughs> and tim can hold it no longer no longer no longer and then bleh, he hurls he hurls everywhere <laughs> he, he gets it in her eyes in her mouth all over her breasts all over herself <laughs> on the bed, everywhere. Oh. And then, 
Tim comes. <laughs> the room stinks of regurgitated oysters and avocado, chocolate, red wine, <laughs> sweat and spunk. <laughs> Well done, Jack and Mary. At the root of it, all relationships are competitions to see which partner can dominate and exploit the other's feelings the most. And the inevitable result of every relationship is sadness, bitterness and pain. Oh, guess who I saw today? Reese. He's so wonderful. And guess who he was with? Claire. Arm in arm and they look so happy together. Didn't you go out with Claire Vince? What was up with that? God, you're so stupid. You didn't let a prime catch like that slip through your fingers. And you weren't even upset about it. <clears throat> right. Makes you think, doesn't it? That film. Hmm. I didn't really want to see it anyway. Didn't you? No. Should have said it. Could have gone to see something else. Funny, you know. Can't stop thinking about the friends. Hmm. In the film. Hmm. Like, stuff can happen that you just never know about. Have you ever? What's that? Seen someone else? What? Behind my back. What makes you say that? That film. <clears throat> well, have you? Have you ever cheated on me, Helen? Hello? Ethan, it's me. Hey, how are you? Ethan, I've got something to tell you. And you've got to promise me that you won't interrupt. What is it? What's happened? Promise. Just tell me what's wrong. Promise me, Ethan. OK, I promise. OK. Ro Ross knows. About what? Yes. How? Well, we were coming out of the cinema and we were walking back to the car and... You just told him? Flash Flood had sold out, so we went to see Getting Some instead. You know the one I mean? Yeah. And you know what it's about? Yeah. Well, obviously, I didn't want to see it. I mean, I didn't want to risk planting any ideas in Ross's head. I didn't think he'd taken any notice of it. We're walking back to the car. He, he was talking about the characters, and he just asked me. And you told him? He just asked you, and you told him? That's it? It was that simple? No, it's not. Ethan, we've been together for two years. I've always been the worst liar in the world. There was no chance of getting anything past him. I had to tell the truth. I had to? You didn't have to tell him anything. Ethan, please, I can't lie to him. Oh, for God's sake, didn't you think for some way round it? What could I have said? What? Jesus, I don't know. You, you could have said you'd cheated on him in the past, but it's all over now. It'd be a lie. Half a lie, half the truth. Surely you're capable of delivering that. There'd be some mess to clear up, but nothing we couldn't handle. At least he wouldn't know. It'd still be a lie, though. This is bullshit, Ellen. Have you heard yourself? You're lying at dinner time with your Oscar-winning performance. You're telling me you couldn't do the same again? I lied to you at dinner. D don't you understand that? I mean, what are you thinking? Do you honestly think I wanted this to happen? Do you? I don't know what to think, Ellen. If you didn't, if you really didn't want this to happen, then you wouldn't have told him. 
Nobody forced you to say anything. Well, I didn't want this to happen, Ethan. I don't want to stop seeing you. I don't want to stop seeing you either. Or do I think I'm going to have little choice in the matter? <sighs> so what happens to me then? I don't know. Well, what happens next? Pass me the pepper, please. Gary and Duncan are coming round. And the mustard. Gary and Duncan are coming round tomorrow at eight o'clock. You're going to make your own way then. Can do. I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. And I'll see you there at nine, right? Yes. I will see you there, won't I? Yes. Just making sure I know where my girlfriend is. Don't start, Ross. I never did, Helen.
Good evening, Ashley. Hello, Diane. Come in, love. Thanks. How are you, then? Oh, not too bad. Yourself? I'm fine, thanks. And how's that new job settled in yet? Yes, thanks. Good. Where's that at? Bilbrook. Right. It's a bit out of the way for you, isn't it? Ah, uh, it is. The bus takes for ages. Must be a long day for you by the time you get home. Ah, uh, yeah, just in time to see Corrib. <laughs> Not in time to do the decorating, I see. Ah, uh, don't start now. That's on the back burner for the time being. I let you go. You don't want to be standing here talking to me all night. I suppose I'd best go up. Yeah, see you later, Ashley. See you later, Diane. I'm having a purge. I can see that. Jesus. I can't believe this is the same room. Mm. So what brought this on then? I'm clearing out everything I regard as unessential to my life. But you kept the plan. Yeah. I'm not sure what to do with it yet. I might throw it out. Or I might wait till it's dead. So what did you do last night? I dreamed. Yeah, but I thought you hadn't... I know. So what happened? I dreamed of a world, much like this one, but without life. No people, no animals, no insects, no trees, no bacteria, no wind, no rain, neither hot nor cold. Absolute nothing. A planet-sized tombstone, frozen in space and time. Jesus. That's, that's really scary. Is that all you can say? That's really scary. What do you expect me to say? It's a fucked up dream cat. What is wrong with you? How can you sit there and smile? You like that? Is that what you like? A dead world? <clears throat> you know, there's something seriously I wrong with you. I've up the band today. What? I've written a letter to each member of the band I've put my equipment up for sale. I've thrown away all my notebooks. As from today, the National Friendly Deposit Society is no more. Part of my purge, if you like. Why will... It's the only thing you give a fuck about, Cat. Why destroy that? Because I only ever want to be part of a perfect band, so there's no point. If you quit, it will never be perfect. Nothing is ever fundamentally truly perfect. A near perfection wouldn't be good enough for you, would it? That's not all, though, Ash. I mean, what does it matter? What does it really matter? We're just a band with a handful of songs. We're never going to touch the life of a beggar on the streets of Calcutta. So does it really matter in the grand scheme of things? What grand scheme of things? What the fuck has a beggar in... in... Calcutta. In Calcutta got to do with me, you and your band? Nothing. That's the point I'm making. Who cares, anyway? I do for a start. I don't anymore. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything for my benefit. Not for the sake of it, anyway. What? You heard loud and clear. I suppose you haven't changed your mind about tomorrow night, then? I mean, I wouldn't want you to come for the sake of it, not for my benefit. Why do I bother to come round? I don't know. You tell me. Fuck this. Good night, Katrina. Good morning, Vince. 
<clears throat> Wake up and smell that steaming cup of joe. Listen, Craig, and listen, good. I fucking love Claire, and that's the truth. Vince, that constant diet of potted meat sandwiches and quattro you had as a kid has done things to your brain. You don't love her, you were seen in ten months. You don't miss her. When you're lying in bed crying about how much you love Claire, you're just not getting the flesh. I love her, I love her with all my heart, but now she's with that. I can't afford to go out tonight. Claire, I can't afford to be by you. Slap me so I can get all about it. Well, when you talk to Craig, you'll start crying. It's cold turkey, Vince, that's all. That's it, it's the easy one, though. You've forgotten how to get a fail. When was the last time you were shy? When was the last time you had a shy? Basically, you're never going to get one if you don't come out with us. You say it's hard to spend my money. The fact is, I don't want to come out with you lot because I know something you don't. You're all fucking daft. Bunch of desperate, intoxicated monkeys with hormones raging out of control. The guys are busy checking out the girls, looking for a response. But they don't get it, because the girls are too busy checking out the girls, see if they've had a response yet from the other guys. But they haven't, because those guys are too busy checking out the first girls, see if they've had a response yet. Yeah, so what? I mean, at least we're actually trying. There's two kinds of people in this world. Those who make the call, and those who wait for it. Fucking Surely that's a bit hypocritical, Queen. You're always going on about that girl, but you never have the balls to talk to her. I'm not the one blindly following a pipe dream. Oi! He loves her! It's alright, Quinn. Hang on to that pipe dream. Keep that impression you've got of her safely tucked away. Because when you do finally talk to her, she will shatter that impression and break your heart. You'll be drowning in the same emotional tarp as Vincent. Now, Craig, I don't know what... Your fucking problem is. I mean, sometimes I wonder if you're fucking queer or something, but anyway, I love Claire. And his, this girl, I mean, he doesn't know her name, he doesn't know oats about her, but I know that he loves her. And what part of this doesn't add up for you, Craig? It's not the adding up, Vince. Just wonder when the sleeping pills are put in your beer are going to kick you. What sleeping pill? Ah. I'll be now, then. What? What? I can't believe you've just done that! Queen, all we've had all night is Claire, 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 Claire. We're supposed to be trying to take his mind off her. Well, he's not thinking about her now, is he? Sweet Claire free dreams, Vince.
Hey, look who it is, half everyone's favourite couple. Alright, Chris. It's upstairs, mate, if you want to. Oh, it's here already? Yeah, mate, yeah. Cheers. Hey, oh, yeah. you alright? Mm -hmm. Alex is upstairs. Oh, yeah, Chris said. Can we talk about it? No, uh, let's be on my own. So, I'm uh, getting what I deserve. No, you're not. If you want to uh, walk around, all right? Yeah, cheers. Quinn, Quinn, you've got to see this. What's going down there? You've got to see this. Yeah. Rocking. You like it? Yeah, it's uh, it's rocking. It's fucking nice. I'm there as me always take you for a small faces, man, Chris. God no, that mod trend is all out of pop. Now I grew up on rock. Yeah. God yeah, it was all faces, purple and Sabbath in our room. Dad was a right rock. Hey, Chris. You know them girls up on the city, yeah? Friends of Paul's. White trailer trash. Yeah. No, pretty fit though. Yeah. I think that's the door. Shouldn't I be the one down there? Are you sure? Yes. I just can't be doing with him tonight. Here, yeah, can I have a drink? Mm. I mean, who the bloody hell invited him anyway? Helen. Hiya. We need to talk. Outside. Here he comes, look at him. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Might not just be mine. What are you looking like tonight? Some fucking real man. Hey, Ash. Fucking hell, Jack. What? What are you saying? I'm just fancy to smack on it. She's in with her hair. She can't take her eyes off. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on let's talk to her. We're just going to talk, Ash. That's not going to make someone kill themselves, is it? Like your hair. So what's he got planned? I don't know. He's not making much sense. He's been drinking all day. He's been having a go at me about I don't know what. 
I don't know, he's all pent up, it's as if he's going out of his way looking for fights. Just watch it, okay? What happens next, Tom? I don't know, like I said, he's out of control. Oh, this ends, it ends with me and all blood down Damn. the f I mean after tonight. What happens after tonight? Good evening. Apologies for the intrusion. We'll go ahead. I'm not staying. Don't be afraid, I'm not a drunkard, although I may appear to be one at the moment. Um, it's just that I've seen, seen you around a lot, and I've, I've always wanted to talk to you, but I've never had the guts to do it. It'd be, it'd be nice to, to know something about you, just to say how much I liked you, man. I think you're really beautiful. but. Um, I'm just rambling, I'm sorry. Um, look, I, I don't want to put any pressure on you, not that you'd want to be as prick as just made a fool of himself in front of you, but I need to know if, if you're seeing anyone at the moment. Yeah. Right, yeah. Of course you would be. <laughs> Someone like yourself should be, yeah. Okay, you probably won't believe me when I say that. I don't think you're an idiot. You probably won't believe that I'm glad we've spoken. And if it's anything, I'm the idiot here. About six months ago, I'd see you in the hole every week. And each week I'd go in the hope that this week you'd finally come and talk to me. But every week I'd go home heavily disappointed. Now that's what's stupid. We never approached each other. What were we so afraid of? But 
after continued disinterest, I figured it was just some cool act and that you really weren't interested in me at all. Are they still upstairs? <laughs> I don't... Why didn't you call me when you got back? Well, I just spoiled the surprise. Yeah, but... Look, you don't know how hard it's been for me this past week, skulking about the place, trying not to be spotted. It's good to see you. I mean, it's really good. Uh, you too. No, I mean, since you went, it's been... I'm so fucking pissed off with this place, of everything. I've been back all week and I'm fucking sick of it already. No, it's what you've done. It's not that hard. That? It's a piece of piss. All you've got to do is look down at your feet, click your heels together three times and think to yourself, there's no point in being here. And that's it. That's it. Honest. I don't know how you fucking bear. I fucking love you, mate. That obviously meant shit to you. One day of rest and not for that two faced black crack of blood. Don't you think I'm Don't you? How can I be with you, Ben? How can I be with a man who can't even tell me that he loves me? The only time you get the shit is if you're pissed off and you're pissed off. Don't you think that I think about you? Because I have, I can't stop thinking about you. done this sort of thing before. Do we talk for a bit or is it straight down to business? Shut the fuck up. Why? Why not? Sorry? I've been thinking about this, Ross. Why is it wrong? Show me the big fucking rule book on love that lays down the do's and don'ts. Because why shouldn't I? I love Helen. That pisses you off, doesn't it? Hear those words. Why is your love all right and mine isn't? You know, you're getting all manly and protective over something. She doesn't need your protection. Just because Ellen loves the both of us, don't mean she's going to leave you. She needs the things you give her. You can't complete the picture of us. So I have to give her things she'll never get from you. And that's all this boils down to. And what are you going to do? You're gonna beat the shit out of me. Big fucking man. It's not gonna stop loving Alan. You do realise that, don't you? Don't you?
stay the fuck away from my head. Oh my god. What happened? He made his point very clearly. You alright? Yeah. Someone's happy though. Where's Ellen? Left with Ross. What about Alex? Off upstairs with some bloke. <sighs> Come on then. Out with it, Smiler. Blake's here. Yeah? Where? Come. Fucking boy, tell me that. Ooh, She's a fucking I'm bitch. Son, man. Quit myself. She used to fancy me. She used to fucking fancy me. Who? The girl. Yeah. But now she's happy. Now she's got herself a boyfriend and I'm here by yeah, myself. Don't let it get to you, man. I'm, I'm just fed up. Yeah, well, uh, I've got some news. Uh, well, me and Claire might be getting back together, you know. We're, we're going to meet next week, have a a bit of a chat, but... Yeah? Well, you never know, man. Right. Oh, Is it me? I mean, what? Come oh, on, let's go back to mine. Let's take on some barriers. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to go home. I need my bed. I'll walk with you, man. Do you want to wait outside while I say goodbye? I know, I know. Don't make a big deal out of it. What the hell? It's for one night. What about all the lad you were talking to? Oh, Curtis. Yeah. I think he went home with Jane and Sarah. Besides, I've told him. I said, Peter, it's for one night only and that's it. Just tonight. I've made it quite clear. I have, I have told him. I thought you were waiting outside. <laughs> Call me tomorrow. All right. Yeah. What are you up to now then? Blake's been telling me that's the great escape. All oh, right. What do you do? Oh, I don't know. Uh, been thinking though. Got all that money sat there. Can go anywhere. Do anything. I don't have to face the bullshit. I don't see I have any strings holding me here. Do for one more. I don't see why not. Being here. There's, There's no, no point, point in being, being here.
That a song should have a purpose Otherwise I'd be wasting my time Cause you know That if I had any talent at all I'd be doing something More worthwhile And I won't Turn my face to watch you as I sing this But I still hope That you knew That if this song Were about anyone at all It'd be about you It'd be about you Just wanna tell you that you're the prettiest things I ever saw. Yeah, I just wanna tell you that you're the prettiest things I ever saw. So I. All I need Because the smile I saw you wear Just this morning Is gonna stay with me It's gonna stay with me And I won't Tell a single soul About it But I still hope Understand because I know the young love's not going anywhere for the moment, but I'll stick around. I'm gonna stick around. Yeah, I just wanna tell you that you're the prettiest thing. Just wanna tell you that you're the prettiest things I ever saw. Just wanna tell you that you're the pretty.